The first step in creating an animation of any kind is to set up your project's administrative filing system. You will be creating many drawings for your animated project. Knowing exactly where these files are stored on your computer's hard drive will save you a lot of time later on when using other software applications. Let's begin by placing your mouse over the lower left hand corner of your computer screen right above the start button. Click and hold on the left mouse button. A menu should appear. Continuing to hold on the button, move up to Programs and then move over to Windows Explorer and release the left mouse button. Now we're in the Windows Explorer environment. In the left window column you'll see a list of hardware that's on your computer. If you have an older computer you might see a three and a half inch floppy drive listed as your A drive. Now the C drive, that would be your hard drive. This is where you're going to set up a system of files to save your work. The D and E drives are for your writable CD and DVD drives. Left click once on the C drive. It will highlight blue. You should see a file system similar to what you see on the screen now. From the command bar at the top of your computer screen, click and hold the left mouse button on the file drop down menu and then continuing to hold, drag it down to new. And while still holding down your left mouse button, drag to folder and then release the left mouse button. You have just created a new file but now you need to name that file. For example, type in Project 01 and then hit the Enter key on the keyboard to accept the new file name. Double click the left mouse button on the Project 01 file that you just created to open it. Repeat the file creation process that you just learned to create a series of subfiles. For example, Create a subfile named Chapter 1 and then double click on that file to open it. Then create another subfile named Audio and then go back and double click on the Chapter 1 file. Now create an additional subfile named Bitmaps and double click on that file to open it. And now create two more subfiles, one named Originals and one named Working and then go back and click on your chapter 1 file. You might even consider creating a temporary reference file. So now you've navigated through your computer's hard drive and just created a file system for your animation project. Go back to the top left corner of your computer screen. Click and hold on the left mouse button at the file drop down menu. Drag down to close and then release your left mouse button. This will exit you from the Windows Explorer environment and return you to the main computer screen. Double click on the scanner program icon to open the scanner program. Now place your selected image face down on the scanner window area and cover image using the scanner lid. Push the start scan button to begin warming the scanner imaging lamp. In about one minute's time you should have the scanned image appear on your computer screen. Next you will need to select one comic panel from the entire scanned image. Start by clicking in the upper left corner of the chosen image and then drag the mouse to the lower right corner of the image and release. Now you should see a dash border with click points on the sides and corners of the selected image. Next click on the zoom button or select zoom from the view menu on the top menu bar. Click on the top, bottom and side center points on the border to resize your image as needed. Now here's the point where you will need to shift your thinking into editing mode. Just like a movie, 
your animation will be made up of a compilation of many smaller scenes. So, by studying your image, you will see that you can get two, three, or more images to animate from just that one original image. Once you've set your border locations, click on the Output Size button or select the Size Setting command from the Setting menu at the top menu bar. In the Size Control window, pick the Custom Size Radio button and type in the width and the height for your image. A width of 800 pixels or a height of 600 pixels whichever is greater is recommended. Click the OK button. Now click on the Output Type button or choose it from the Settings menu at the top menu bar. Choose Best Color Photograph from the choice list and click the OK button. Next click on the setting column at the top menu bar. Then drag and release mouse button on the resolution tab. Click on the custom resolution radio button and place 200 dpi in the drop down window. Then click the OK button. With the previous color quality, size and DPI settings you placed on the image, you should end up with the size between 1 and 1.5 megabytes. This takes up a small amount of computer memory space and also makes for a great looking image. From the Tools menu on the top menu bar, choose the Exposure Adjustment setting. On the Midtones bar, adjust it down about 4 points. For example, a 2.2 reading would be changed to a 1.8 reading. Now close the Exposure Adjustment window to accept the new settings. These new settings will darken the black tones and give more depth to the color of your images. Well. We're at the last stage of this lesson. I just have to show you how to save your scan on your computer in the very same files that you created earlier. Go to File at the top menu bar and choose Save As. This will open the Save window. It works like a smaller version of the Windows Explorer program that you learn to navigate in the previous lesson. Next, click on the Return to File button. This button has the image of a file with a bent arrow. To locate your file, carefully click on the Return to File button just a few times in order to navigate backwards towards the C drive. From the C drive, Navigate your way through the file system that you created in the previous lesson. Find the file that you named original and double click on it to open it. Now choose the file type for your image as bitmap and then type in the name for your file. Here's a helpful tip. When naming image files, you should name them in numerical order, just as they appear in the original media. For example, if the panel you chose to scan was panel 25 from the book, then name the bitmap image Act 025. This will be of great benefit to the completion of your project as you will learn in the lessons to follow. Once you have named your image file, click on the Save button, then exit the scanner program to return to the main computer screen.